on, don't ask me where. This guy just got back right now from being out. And I'm over here packing my stuff and just woke up because it's 4.30 right now. I can't wait to sleep. And I need to head to the airport. Must have been a fun night if you're only getting back now. Everything is packed. Don't like waking up at this time of the morning. Going downstairs, grabbing an Uber, heading to the airport. All right, I'm out of here. Good times in New York? Yeah. Sleep well. Must be nice being in that bed right now. I'm not low, but I'm never high. I'm not sad, but I never smile. I don't know how I feel inside at all. The reason why I have to be heading to the airport so early right now and I couldn't take a later flight is because it's Thanksgiving tomorrow and I have to meet up with my parents and my sister in LA before 12 o'clock lunchtime because then we're driving up to the mountains where we spend every Thanksgiving um, for the past 15 years of my life. So I have a five and a half hour flight right now to LA and then right after that, about a three hour drive into the mountains once LA ends. Thank you. What a crazy day it's been so far. I just got back to Los Angeles. As you can see, it's a little bit different over here with the uh, weather and stuff. I'm in short sleeves. But now, in about two hours, I'm heading up to Big Bear. Something happened today also when I was at the airport that I wanted to talk to all of you guys about because I think it can be beneficial to all of you and help you guys out a lot. So when I was going to the airport, this flight, as you guys know, I booked very last minute. The seat coming back from uh, New York to LA was a middle seat in the very back of the plane and it was a very cramped seat and the flight was about five and a half, six hours long. I didn't really want to deal with that. But when I got to the airport, the flight was fully sold out, completely booked. I just decided why not ask. So I went and I asked the first person when I got to check in. Sorry sir, the flight is completely booked. There's nothing available, you're gonna have to keep the seat you have. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I go through security, I get in, and once I'm inside, find another desk right before you board the plane, and I go up to the woman sitting there and I say, hey, you know, I'm flying back right now on this flight. I wanted to see if there's anything available, you know, to uh, get a better seat, maybe an aisle seat. And she's like, the plane's completely full, but let me just see and check real quick. And something had magically happened and she was able to work something out where she was able to give me an emergency exit upgrade to almost first class with a full bed for sleeping on the plane for completely free. Now, the craziest part about all of this is that if I would have never asked, that would have never happened. I would have been sitting in the back in that middle seat. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because this goes for everything in life. A lot of things, a lot of opportunities will come from just asking. A lot of people that I've met has happened because they've reached out to me and asked, hey, are you around? Let's meet up. So if you just ask someone something, the worst that can happen is they, they say no. But the best thing that can happen is a lot of opportunities. So I wanted to just get this out here to you guys so you guys understand. If you ever want something or if you ever want to do something, always just ask. It may be an awkward situation. It may be something that you might be a little bit scared to ask about. If it's an awkward situation and if it's something that you don't really want to do, and I know like maybe you want to go talk to a girl or if you're a girl, talk to a guy and it's awkward and you don't want to, you don't know how to approach them or whatever the case may be or you want to talk to someone that you see in the street that you know who uh, you've always looked up to and you're just too nervous to walk up to them. The way you got to think about it is this. In your head, say to yourself, the situation will work out better than you could have ever imagined. If you say that to yourself, over and over again and then just do it, what happens is the situation always works out better than you could have ever imagined. That's what I do always, and then I just do it. I have a little bit of time right now while my parents pack up with my sister for Big Bear. I'm gonna head over to the camera store and I'm gonna go buy a new drone so I have actual drone footage for these videos from now on. My car is currently at my place and I Ubered straight from the airport to my parents' house. So I'm driving my mom's car right now, which is a Jeep Wrangler. Pretty fun to drive. This is what we're gonna take up to the mountains. I'm looking at the drones, there's so many to choose from. 
The one that I want though is this one right here. And it says coming soon, which is not a good sign. I thought it was out already. Uh, this is the one I used to have, but it's so big. And apparently this one folds up into your pocket and it shoots the same quality as that one. So I have to ask someone and see maybe they do have it in stock. So unfortunately they don't have the drone in stock yet. It comes in on the 27th of this month. So instead of going ahead and buying the uh, Phantom 4 Pro, I decided to wait a few more days and get the Maverick. So unfortunately I won't have any footage of drones until that comes out. This is my mom. As you can see, I have the exact same hair as her. And this is the house I grew up in when I was really young. Showing it off right now. Everything's locked up, Adam. It's okay. This is my dad. Say hi to everyone. Hi, guys. Well, we're gonna cut that part out, probably. Hi. This is my sister, Frances. Hello. This actually was my room before she took it over when I moved out. And she used to be in this back room over here. And this used to be her room. It obviously was decorated a lot differently, very girly, back then when she was living in it. But now she gets both. What is going on <laughs> back know. here? Can you, can you imagine? Looks like we live in this car. I'm with everyone. <laughs> Driving up to Big Bear now. Can't believe I was in New York seven hours ago. Oh! What's up? Pit stop at, where are we? <laughs> oh, don't know where we are. Francis, where are we? Where are we stopping right now for food at? In-N-Out Burger. The classic road trip spot. Can we just talk about what these shoes are that you're wearing? Fluvogs, John Fluvogs. I've never seen anything like this in my life. They look like there's suction cups underneath them. <laughs> yeah, you think we have enough them? food? Crazy. Where's the Overload of fries. Let's see how fast you can eat that whole thing. Ready, going. set, and go. Went from cold New York to even colder in Big Bear. It's uh, 31 degrees right now, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I, this is how not to dress, by the way, guys, in the cold. Don't wear holes in your jacket. But we're here at the cabin. We gotta figure out how to get in now because this is an Airbnb. Apparently, you gotta use this T-bar right here and you gotta put it in here to turn the heat on or the water, I guess, for the house. So I found this and Okay, good to go. It's on. We should have heat now. So this is home for the next few days for Thanksgiving. Got the fire on. And there must be a room up another room. What's up there? We got an upstairs area with some bedrooms and I think there's a bedroom over here too. Just gotta find the light. Very dark. Bedroom. And this is an interesting roof up here. About to go to dinner right now to a really cool restaurant in Big Bear. Has some really good food. Ready to eat? <laughs> Sweet basil beef show. And what is this over here that looks like worms? Ew. What is it? That is not good. I'm gonna stick to just a salad. Boom. Look at that. Ravioli. Oh yeah. Healthy. Salmon. Donuts. <laughs> oh yeah. Easy come, easy go. Ooh. Quick stop at Vaughn's. Need to grab some stuff for the house. Breathe real quick. I want to see if you can see it out of your mouth. Yep, do it again. You okay there? Currently on the hunt for chocolate chip cookies right now so we can make them at the cabin. Endless supply of eggnog. You want to chug this whole thing right now? Watch me. 
And this is why I bring her around. <laughs> Jackpot. This one over here likes chocolate chip cookies gooey. That's the only way to have them. It's all about the crisp. The crisp is everything. That crunch you get, that's where it's really you at. You have to underbake them a little bit. Because... What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below because I think for sure the crisp is the way. No. No way. I knew you guys be in this area. Yeah, we really have a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Think so? These are great. You should definitely get these. I look like the uh, the evil fish from Finding Nemo that chases him with the light that dangles. What a day. Finally can now relax. New York to Los Angeles to Big Bear Lake. All within the last 12 hours or so. Keeping a wolf. You guys are awesome. Subscribe if you like this video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.